Wow. Anybody who's watching this, welcome to my reaction to Yakuza Zero Review Japan Simulator Trademark Friday Night Fever by Maxor. Um, I've never played any Yakuza games. I kind of want to because of how absurd I know they are, but I probably will never get to. So, and by the time I get to them, I might forget what happens in this video anyway. So the spoilers aren't that big of a deal. I'm like, what was me with me and with Doom Eternal, specifically. But. As is there but I want to say something but I forgot. Anyway. Is that ADHD or is that Alzheimer's? What do I have? Tell me please. And if you wanna help me, there's a donation link in the description below. You can also just like, subscribe, comment wherever you want. And let's just begin. I'm kind of excited. That didn't work. Uh sound there are spoilers in the headphones. So fucking stupid. This video, Yakuza Zero is a groundbreaking business management and unhinged violence simulator where the player is tasked that's with the thorough exploration of people's faces using your fists. In that's as much as I know about inspired it. Inspired entertainment product. It's up to you to beat dastardly criminals nearly to death, manage the economy, manage Ooh. women as a pimp, do the yogi sploiki, oh. grant pizza to the illiterate, and I'm missing so out. much more. In the backdrop of a murder mystery crime drama incited by rampant real estate speculation, we play as the hard-boiled Yakuza. Kiryu Zabubafu and Goro Meningitis as they prowl the streets okay. of that weird city from Persona 5 take your word along for it. the way doing an excess of justified self-defense mugging to spend their ill-gotten gains okay. on... Okay, okay, wait for it. That's not a good moment to pause on, but it's censored. I haven't reacted to a fast-paced video like that in a while, so I need, <laughs> I need to compose myself, I'm sorry. I need some water. Okay. Increasingly odd behavior, all in an effort oh. to untangle a sinister That's power odd. struggle taking place within the Silly Spaghetti People Club. With such esteemed members as the entire cast of Goodfellas and a sundowner from the Metal Goose oh. series. Of course, innocence Metal will be caught in the crossfire. It's an inclusive game, but whether I was on the stage, getting invested in the plot, performing gentrification, or just watching literal in-game pornography, I was always held at the edge of my seat, wondering what could possibly come next. So despite the darkness and absolute certainty and murder, it maintains a tonal dissonance I can only describe as neck shattering in a way that is always a breath of fresh. I wasn't ready still. Anyway, uh, what I want to say is that I want to make a review. Kind of, I don't want to do reactions forever, but if that happens, that happens. But I want to make a review at some point, maybe just as a bonus content to my reactions. And I want to make something like this. But I have no talent or knowledge. How? <laughs> How do I do that? Fresh air. With all this said and done, I invite you to enjoy the bizarre world of like this, like Seth. Thrilling experience of its adventure. Back. Back. I forgot. This is just an anime opening for Yakuza. There is no better place to start than with the various methods we employ to atomize people into their base particles. With two okay. playable characters and eight unique fighting styles, there is always variation. And for the blind people in my audience, Yakuza is a beat-em-up in the most literal sense possible, matching the player against absolute Mongolian hordes of strange characters, such as goons, bikers, your own Yakuza, men in black, and a Chinese men. Don't worry, these oh, okay. delicate hands would never kill anyone unless they don't oh. subscribe, ring that like button, smash the bell. We attack using a flurry of different intricate. I'm sorry, Maxor. I already have that on. Please. 
combos to build our primordial rage but i do want to die so maybe i should turn it off real damage in the form of hundreds of completely absurd animations ranging from light jabs to permanent injury and certain death the beauty in all of this is that like the beautiful and respectable sounding japanese language expression <laughs> of our death resource is context sensitive Finchin. with possibly hundreds of different entirely unique animations all dedicated to kiryu's never-ending war on bones are you carrying a giant cone that's an animation are you near a ledge on this one level with mato Worry. Or maybe you just have a box. Serve that shit up faster than FedEx. Every single takedown okay. is this gratuitously violent. But don't worry, cool. neither of our characters canonically kill anyone. We just give them lifelong really? disabilities that are worse than death. Since I'm I guess it's generous, it's let's talk rules. about exactly how. Playing as Kiryu Kazoo, our fighting styles consist of the Brawler, a classic fast-moving fighting style focused on replicating the police experience, rush hour, a quick attacking and dodge heavy moveset well suited to cowards, and monkey mode, which instantly adds several hundred pounds of muscle mass that you then have to drag around it's not very good switching to our next yeah. character pirate captain Goro Majima gives us the funky styles as a oh. thug we have a wide range of generic moves and the fucking neck snapping power I don't think they're going to get back up as a break dancer yes, break dancer we sacrifice <laughs> takedowns for style in the most absurd and flashy way possible and slugger, shit. we cheat by pulling out the fucking baseball bat and wield it like nunchucks letting us hit quite hard and exploit every boss in the game he just can't uh, do anything. On top okay. of this, there are two secret fighting styles normally completely inaccessible to the player. And unfortunately, the process of the acquisition outfits, right? is very interesting. One might oh. say physically painful. As early as Chapter 7, you're given the business opportunity of establishing a whore monopoly. And Majima takes it with great enthusiasm. To unlock the final fighting style, we will have to run our cabaret club well enough to to unseat the five prostitution daimyo of Japan. It'll be a fun side quest, I told okay. myself, just like Oblivion. That's a fun game. There are many ways to run a high society God, cabaret club, like abuse. But a true manager of a great establishment has many factors to consider. Contrary to popular belief, all women are different. But like the caste uh -huh. system, all people can be classified. Our objective is okay. to keep the customer as happy as possible by balancing our women's specializations. Some girls are cute, others are great at conversation, and some are skilled. Akina has a degree in biomedical engineering. Poor patients, oh, like me, have very good. low expectations and can be pleased. There is little amount of women in stem fields, so that's very, very good. That's good. with rubbing rocks together. I took while it wealthy patrons serious. have refined tastes like physical and mental abuse. Every employee oh. has their limits, and it's up to you to stretch them as far as possible. Truly, we are the Bezos of cabaret. Now, if you'll excuse yeah. me, I'll be attending the poor people hunt. Of course, <laughs> as a proper host, it's up to you to attend to every customer. Whereupon things go from relaxing to batshit. Every time you wait a table, you'll receive a cryptic hand signal from the girl, which tells you what the customer desires and if you want to please them you better remember all of them what the fuck are you trying to say I, I don't uh, i'll be oh, back with a gun mind. and just in case this wasn't painful every time you go to a new table the game will throw a fucking flashbang so over the course of a never-ending grind, I was given the most painful migraine I will ever get in my life. This screen and this music inspire my killing urges. By the way, this game is a beat well, yeah. so to conclude Makes our sense. cabaret adventure, our reward is the mad dog style, which allows you to wield a knife and sprint at fucking breakneck velocity, striking your foes like a cracked up Doberman and unlocking takedowns yeah, that's that a weird straight run. kill people. Oh fuck, that looks pretty sharp. Anyways, good luck. Playing with the knife style is absolutely an experience, one that I would never repeat ever again. So when I I heard that unlocking the other secret sure. style involved eight hours of the real estate quest. I promptly had a PTSD attack. Kiryu is going to have to do without the poopy poopy farto style. I have a fucking fish to feed. Take my advice. Yakuza Zero has a lot of side content. And if you happen to be a completionist, stay away. Or you might just be locked in the Facebook game for three days. Gerard. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be spending the rest of my day betting on domestic violence. You know, when I first played this game, I expected brutal combat. Oh, sure, that's a big boy. Silly takedowns, but what I didn't expect was the hour I spent with the claw machine. 
I'm having a fucking blast. I don't think I need to play right. pool for three hours, but they just put it in. And let me tell you, nothing sells the fictional world of Japan better than a good night on the town. So yeah. at this point, I started wondering Before what kind of game I was actually playing. It turns out that Yakuza Zero is a lot like reality. You always need more money, mostly for yeah. upgrades where you inject money directly into your arms and collect every vaccine. But secondarily, healthcare never comes free. So every time you take damage, you're gonna have to consume to fill the void inside, or alternatively, carry thousands of dollars in medicine. There is no limit to juicing. It's no exaggeration to say that Yakuza's difficulty depends entirely on how much of a Sigma male you are. Kiryu might not get any pussy, but he is getting paid. You might think okay. that beating up the homeless is the way to go, but that is for babies. If you want to make the real dough, you'll have to risk it all on gambling. More specifically, betting on scantily Wrestling. clad women okay. beating each other half to death. And because Ow. of the copyright music and interesting visuals, putting this in my video represents me betting my real income. Majima, however, never has yeah, I would assume so. Because his cabaret pays him several billion yen. The entire plot of the game happens because we're fighting over one tenth of that. So it's a shame that oh. I lost all of it. Yes, all ten billion of it. Because I was robbed by a man with fucking orangutan strength. This is what Mr. The? Shakedown. And if you ever encounter him, run. It doesn't matter how much you have. It doesn't matter how long you've spent getting it. If you lose to Mr. Shakedown, he will take all ten billion of it and then disappear to somewhere. So if you want a cent okay. of that back, you better go find him. Uh, eventually that's pretty bad but like all human suffering this can become a business opportunity you see mr shakedown is actually a form of banking whatever amount he robs from you the game will add 15 percent more meaning if you're up for the challenge of defeating harambe the returns are worth it at least with this okay. method your money doesn't vanish into the void of course that isn't always a bad thing there's a lot of places to spend our money and most of them are fun a little too fun actually i don't, I don't know why read the but in the games like these like in in GTA, in like a not necessarily a real world, but in some kind of world simulator. That didn't make sense at all. So I, my brain stopped working for a second. But um, I think this is kind of important, at least for my my enjoyment. I like some side stuff. That's why I enjoy new WoW. Even though it it's sometimes dog shit, uh, to the classic WoW or whatever, because of the things you can do, and the, the more variety, the better, and it kind of uh, helps with world building in ga in games like these, like in GTA where you can go to a casino or stuff like that, or in San Andreas where you can go to the gym and pump out. It's just something. It's a small mini game, but it impacts. It doesn't necessarily impact the game itself, but it impacts your view of the world that God damn it. Sorry. Uh that is a world in inside the game. A fucking phone book to play some goddamn Chinese solitaire. Tabletop simulator, never heard of it. The only game I play okay. is Eels and Escalators. What I'm trying to say is, this is oh. a rabbit hole. A good one. My personal favorite was getting addicted to the bowling minigame and then winning the chicken, who doubles as a financial advisor. Yakuza is not meant to be questioned, and that isn't even the wackiest game. To... That honor goes to the phone. Was that a famous diaper club? I heard about it on Game Grumps. Dating, which takes okay. the form of a shooter. Yes, like Call of Duty. To win a date with the girl of our dreams, we are going to have to pick the right responses from a wide variety of options, most of which are insane, like inviting a girl to fight a marsupial. For some reason, women don't like that. But the oh. best possible outings lean heavily on this game's amazing soundtrack, which features a number of beautiful karaoke themes, stylish disco tracks, and stellar emotional ballads. I am, of course, talking about the karaoke and the dancing, which are both incredible in their style and creativity. They are so out there, so truthful, and sound so good that I just couldn't get enough of it. In short, they're everything a dance should be. This scene tells me more about Majima than an entire Hideo Kojima script. Kiryu has never okay. killed anyone, but let me tell you, this man knows how to murder a dance floor. I love that move when they go with as each other. Oh, I know that move. Okay, sorry. I can't do that one. That one, I love that one when they... Ah. Questing with the best team. And yet, that's not even half the fun, because Yakuza Zero contains an array of interesting, meaningful, and necessary side quests, which allow the player to engage in a variety okay. of small... 
Does it count as a side quest if it is necessary? That's my question. Stories ranging from pizza delivery or, to replacing know. a phone battery of that one's a little boring. You can even role play as a Persona fan by following a child around the city. Often these oh, okay. quests will have entirely That's unique per, I don't know challenges, accompanied by complex about. moral judgment and logic puzzles. In one I instance, I was given the task of infiltrating the cult of Munan Cho Hept Onas, whereupon I had to learn the practice of Shura Pipi, the acquisition of Kulipas, and the greeting of Munan Cho. At which point, the game tested me on their exact definitions okay. i promptly beat their leader to death in another instance cure you almost up with to the death famous you don't movie kill director steven spinning known for his hit film uh -huh. indian jeans to complete a music uh -huh. video with famous international pop star okay. miracle johnson i was hired to beat the extras to death now that i think about it every side quest ends with a trip to the hospital except for the pizza one that ends in love yeah. it's not delivery it's too short no this stands in stark contrast to the actual <laughs> plot of the game which is played completely straight taking everything i've said before and to account you might think this is weird and sometimes it no. is one day you might no, be saving a helpless blind fine. woman and the next abandoning her so you can play idol master for several days this i'm sure that she'll be just fine but funny anecdotes aside there is an abundance of real drama and emotion here of all the things i expected this game to be sad was not one of them neither oh. did i expect a believable love story or huh, the Georgia murder character. mystery this game is downright determined to constantly surprise you ah. even if it has to stop making sense in majima's story we are sent to kill a buff Chinese man before fighting him, teaming up with him to save the innocent, and then fighting him again, but I changed my mind. This exact arc happens with three separate characters, and that's just Majima's story. In fact, okay. despite the game being called Yakuza Zero, Kiryu leaves the family in Chapter 1. Then he fucking rejoins it. Every antagonist has so much oh. goddamn personality that you just don't know when you're gonna be friends with them. Every oh. man is vying for power and control, but each does it for their own distinct reasons. Awano is a Genshin Impact player who only desires money and women. Kuze oh. is a boxer who wants to fight a lot. Shibusawa is obsessed with power, and Nishitani is the Joker. Enemies become oh. friends, friends got, become uh, enemies, and Kuze will not leave me alone. The only character who's actually not interesting is a Essentially Chinese Spider-Man. The hell? You broke that shit for no reason. Holy shit, whose defining feature is that he's ugly. Unless you play the Chinese version of the game, then he's weirdly handsome and also on the cover. But even when playing in the most Okay. Pandering. I see. Curious of circumstances, the game that came still out of nowhere. You off guard. A tense deal with a Yakuza boss can change seemingly at random into a ridiculous combat encounter fighting 90 enraged apes. Or in okay. the case of Majima, Sounds a perfect. visit to the CIA becoming a fever dream in which you have to fight the buff crossdressers. The game cares more about good gameplay Is and fun story there? than actually making sense. Probably it's not. quite refreshing. Hopefully when Yakuza not. gets serious, it ass. really means something. And when it's being silly, it's absolutely cathartic. I love downloading and Everything Batman has impact. Let's go to arenas. We haven't killed anyone, by the way. All in all, Yakuza is more true to life than any impact. other game I've ever played. Not by making sense or being realistic, but emotionally. At the beginning of this game, Kiryu is just kind of a cool buff guy. But after exploring his friendships, seeing him have fun, and just interacting with people, I realized that this is much more. So when things take a bad turn and we're at our lowest point, you really feel it more than almost any other game. Yakuza Aww. is about life, with all the beautiful ecstasy, awful tragedy, and everything in between. Fights are never just oh, fun in Yakuza, they can the phone. be comedic, that cathartic, gift. or just really goddamn cool. Activities make you feel like a part of the world, and every cutscene is filled with emotion and personality. When I first played, I thought that Yakuza was all over the place, that it was somehow messy. But now I realize that life is fucking messy. You only realize that now? Okay. I want to thank all of the Yakuza bosses who are using my channel to launder money, kind of like a pizza joint in New York City. If you want kind to what I'm doing, to right? channel and facilitate all I'm of our questionable activities, then I recommend taking a look at my Patreon down below. Thank all of you for watching and waiting, and of course, don't try to escape. Okay. That was beautiful. In the beginning, I said that I probably never will play Yakuza. But I'm kind of changing my mind. Like, there's a lot of mini games that I enjoy a lot to do. With a brothel that I would enjoy to go. I mean, 
to op I'm I mean the business <laughs> but yeah, if it, if it has a good main story the interesting side quest that are necessary so we not no not really side quest it seems very very fun so I guess I'll put the game from I probably will never play it to hopefully I will try it at some point. I can't buy it. I don't know if it's gonna work on my shitty PC. I don't have money to buy it and I definitely don't have money to buy a new PC. On, P on PS4 it's even more expensive than on PC in Russia. So I don't know. Maybe you can help me out. And nobody said yes. Anyway, uh, thank you, anybody who watched this. I appreciate it a lot, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Have a great life. Because one of us has to.